Hey guys and very welcome and good morning! Today I am going to buy another high voltage battery. If you have seen my other videos, first of all I made a battery, a 48 volt battery from a Volkswagen E-Up high voltage battery. Uh, much battery there, I know. And uh, then I made a video for only, I think it was one month ago, when I opened up the uh, rear upper part of an um, Audi e-tron high voltage battery and I was very very curious on that one because it was built from a 3S configuration so my plan was to have my inverters to run at, uh, as a, as a, at a 15S configuration with 60 volts but that was not possible because Robot inverters only run up to 58.4, I think it was. So, I have now decided to go on with a uh, look at the sun here. Isn't that amazing? It's a beautiful morning here in Sweden. It is a battery to an ID3 Volkswagen 2021. So, it's a pretty new battery there. And I am going to pick this up from a junkyard. So. Hopefully everything will just go fine and I will try to make some kind of BMS to this high voltage battery. It is a, a 108 cell configuration in this one, so we are almost up to 450 volts when it's fully charged. So you don't want to drop anything on that one or touch the wrong cables there. So enough talking, let's drive. And as always, very welcome. Alright guys, it's finally time to open this battery up, so I can show you how it looks inside. But first I will show you which type of tools I am using for this. So uh, here is a training mat that I have borrowed from my wife that I will be standing on, just so I uh, have a little extra protection from the ground. And on my feet I am going to use my rubber boots, so I have good protection there too, just to be sure. And uh, I will of course have my ARC helmet on, and ARC gloves, and some rubber gloves inside of those, just to prevent any sweat or something like that to uh, penetrate my leather gloves here. And uh, yeah, this is just normal gloves uh, to protect my hands from dirt and stuff. Then I have my screwdriver here and some adapters just so I can use this socket so it will be a little faster. And this one is the one that I am going to use to uh, release the terminals from the batteries. And uh, here is a little special cable that I have bought. Here is the part number for that one. And this socket here fits into the modules to the batteries. And uh, now I can use this as a breakout cable so I can have access to every single cell down in the module so I can measure the cell voltage. And uh, for that I have my 
test probe here. I have just soldered this together. So uh, I have a very flexible and nice cable here. And my plan is just simply to use this to connect this into each and every cell to read the voltage out from each module. And some tape if I need that. And of course my old nice and good fluke multimeter. So there you have the tools. And now I am going to open this battery up. All right, guys, here it is. And uh, as you can see, we have nine modules here. Let me bring the camera so you will have a close up on it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine modules. And each modules are made up from a 12S configuration. So we will have uh, around 44 volts on each of those modules. And they are connected in series. We have the main positive down there and the main negative down there. Then it's connected like this, just in series. And then we have the bridge over to the other side. And then all the way back to the main negative. And then we have those balance slave units. We have three of those, two bigger up here and one a little smaller one down there and then we have the master unit let's go to the other side here and then we have the master unit here so this will talk to the car and of course to the rest of the battery and uh, i am not sure if i am going to be able to wake this system up i don't think so to be honest but i will figure something out in the future and see, I know that th there is a tool that you can connect into a battery. And I have heard that the battery are going to balancing the cells when you have the tools connected to it. So um, hopefully I can uh, try that out. And uh, if so, I will of course post another video on that later. But now I will just disconnect all these terminals here. And, uh, or all these bus bars, I mean, and try to measure the cell voltage inside of the modules and see if we have any unbalancing going on. Because I have cycled this battery now for a few times, but I have only charged it to 3.9 volts, uh, cell voltage, of course, and uh, then drain it down to 3.6 around there. So. I think that uh, it is pretty much okay to do that because it's only when you reach the top end of the voltage when there can be dangerous if you have any unbalance in the cells and also of course in the lower end I think uh, when you reach down below 3.5 and lower then the voltage will start to drift pretty much actually. But if you stand between 3.6 up to 3.9 you will probably be just fine in most cases, if the cells are well matched from the beginning, of course. And I can promise you that those cells are very, very well built from the factory. But of course, some cells can be damaged and then you will have unbalance in those modules. So just let's remove all the bus bars so we are down to 44 volts. Then I will connect my little special tool here into the module and see if I can measure all the cells. So we start with the, start with the very first one here and then just go up to the last one that actually will be in the second connector here because I have only a connector for 10S so I had to add that extra one. All right.
let's start this up. And uh, my wife is also going to help me here. If something is going really wrong, she is going to push me away with this one. So she is going to be behind the camera all the time here. All right, every module are now disconnected and also all the balance leads are disconnected. So we are down to a 44 volt safe situation here. So now I will start to measure all the cells and see what cell voltage we have there. All right, module one. Tre komma åtta fyra fem. Tre komma åtta fem noll. Tre komma åtta fyra sex. Tre komma åtta fyra åtta. Tre komma åtta fyra åtta. Tre komma åtta fyra åtta. So now all the cells are measured and uh, I think it was only 6 millivolts that was the biggest difference in the whole pack here. So very good balancing. And I think that I have cycled this battery between 3.9 to 3.55 volts maybe 20 times and if you do that with that kind of voltage you probably don't need any balancing at all but of course that would be great to have some kind of uh, protection that will turn off the power to the battery if something is going wrong but however I don't have that right now I have to figure something out so what I have to do now is to connect all the balance leads here and then connect all the bus bars and finally screw everything uh, together again. So let's do that! All the bus bars and all the balance leads are connected to the batteries again. And uh, I will just show you where I connected my inverter. So I simply drilled a hole inside to the battery here and uh, of course made it waterproofed so I don't have any moisture or stuff inside of the battery. And then I simply connected my inverter to the main negative on this point here. And we have the main positive on this point just there. And as you probably understand, the best th thing would of course be to have it connected to this main output here and have this battery working like it is uh, fitted to a car, but that's not possible. Uh, not yet anyway. And to be honest, I don't think that's possible even in the future. I will see what my uh, uh, tool can do but probably no protection just checking and hopefully the battery will start to balancing the cells but I don't think that uh, there is any chance to have any use to those 
terminals here, sadly. However, it's a great battery, but it's also very dangerous, of course. So now I just will screw on the lid here. So let's go down in the basement and uh, turn on the power again. And first I have to turn off my inverter completely. So now I just have turned off the system. And now I will turn on my battery. Like so. And now you can see the battery voltage. Do you want to switch on the device? Yes, I want to do that. Like so. And now it will start to pre-charge the system. We are pulling 0.7 amps at the moment. So uh, hopefully I will have this battery to do its balancing and maybe I can have control of the output. <laughs> if so, that would be just perfect. I am going to do an update when I know more about that stuff. I promise you that. And be careful, don't do this if you don't know exactly how this kind of battery is connected and how it is working because it can and it will kill you if you touch the wrong stuff inside it right great i hope i see you next time have a great day and take care and goodbye